Yo, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light. This wasn't the beginning of the episode, but this is probably how I'm going to talk throughout this entire thing. Does it sound scripted? Probably. But it's not. Yo, 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 how's it going, everyone? Today I'm playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light, which is the story mode to this game. As you can see, I've already beaten it before. Uh, it took a very long time. Very, very, very long time. And today we're going to do New Game Plus, because I forgot that was a thing. Uh, and also, I just, I really want to do uh, a playthrough of this, because... Oh no, I don't want to overwrite. Oh god, okay, hold on, New Game, yep. Because I want to play the game on hard. I know Brent's playing it on hard right now, and I was like, you know what, Brent? I'm going to one-up you. I'm going to play on hard, but I'm also going to play as only Sephiroth. Because I can... Have him right at the beginning because it's New Game Plus. Don't let a single one get away. Yeah, that's what Sephiroth is going to be saying to all the characters he fights today. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this. Uh, if anybody watched my 20XX video, uh, I explained that I was doing a, a run-through with Sephiroth, uh, really but Giant, and Metal. It's now or never. And... It's really OP. Like, giant metal Sephiroth with hyper smash attacks. Oh, just so good. So good. I mean, Sephiroth really should be coming in right now to, you know, slice and dice Galeem, but I'm just gonna assume that Sephiroth technically isn't canon. <laughs> uh, he's still in Final Fantasy VII right now. He hasn't, he hasn't made it to smash. Oh, boom! Link. MVP most valuable player because he blocked like two of Gleam's attacks and then died where everyone else is just straight up getting yeeted out of existence. Like look at that. Nobody, nobody can stand up to him. Link, you're the strongest Smash player right there. That I mean that proved it, right? Look at that. Look at that. They're going to die. Yeah, oh Palutena, boom. Both you guys, oh, you're dead. And then there's and then there's Metal Gear guy, you know that that famous guy, <laughs> you know Simon Snake, that's his name, right? Simon, of course. Oh, MVP Kirby, come on, come on, do it, yeah. Oh, so good, so good, so 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 good. I love that Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. His name isn't Kerberry? Oh my gosh. I love how Kirby is like the main character of Smash Bros. He kind of is. He's the one who kind of saves the day in... What was it? The Subspace Emissary? The uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl? Uh, story mode? Like, he's the one... Everyone dies and then Kirby is like, nah, I'm gonna save everyone. And it's literally this entire game, but it's condensed into like... Yeah, a short segment at the end of uh, of Smash Bros. Brawl, right? So, yeah, basically this is kind of just round two of that, right? Kirby's got to go rescue everyone, you know? They've turned evil, so he's got to, you know, save some good boys and some bad boys and some female boys, some girl boys. There you go. There you go. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light. Let's do it. Let's do it. Except I think there's another cutscene. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go, Mario. I always knew you were into that BDSM. Oh, look, you're getting honey dripped on you. And then he just morphs into, like, I don't know, Jerry Seinfeld. No, not, not the bee from Bee Movie. No, 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 no just Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> oh man. Hey look, it's 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 evil Mario. Oh, look at that. So that's where Metal Mario came from. He just came from this game. So this was like a prequel to all Mario games or something. Because Metal Mar no, Metal Mario When did Metal Mario come out? Was that mm, Was that Super Mario 64? That was the first time that Metal Mario was a thing? If you guys know the answer to that, let me know. Because I actually, I'm curious. I feel like it would be. I can't think of like a 2D Mario game where Metal Mario existed. Huh. That's creepy. 
These are all creepy. They're really, really creepy. Oh, oh, you guys giving me nightmares. Oh, you got Mewtwo in the background. You got Samus in the background. You got Bowser in the background. And then you got Kirby right there. And I feel like the reason that they didn't have Kirby die or, or you know, be turned into one of those evil monsters is because his eyes being red would just, I think that would literally kill people. I, I think people would die from seeing evil Kirby. Oh, okay. Time to get into some gameplay after, I don't know, a couple minutes. <laughs> it seemed like a longer time than a couple minutes, but let's, you know what, let's see what we can do. So, the first thing that we're going to do, boom, purchase DLC fighters are now playable. All right, we're going to press start, and we're going to switch to our good old boy Sephiroth. All right, uh, where are you? Sephiroth, oh, but hold on. We need to switch his costume because I failed to do so in uh, in my other playthrough of Sephiroth with cl in classic mode. So we got to do it now. We got to do it now, guys. Shirtless Sephiroth, here we come. Uh, and and it, oh, it's just gonna be great. Look at those abs. Look at those muscles. Holy crap! But this is where it goes really crazy. Uh, save teams. I have a lot of save teams, but the one that we're gonna use is Metal Face. Uh, you're metal and giant, and you have hyper smash attacks. Uh, hyper smash attacks, what do you do? You increases attack power and smash attack charge speed. So, really, Sephiroth is just gonna... I don't know, guys. Like, I decided to do this the other day, and it's really strong. <laughs> now, I mean, keep in mind, I do kind of suck at Smash Bros. So... You know, if he's not as OP as, as I'm claiming he is, it's probably just because it's me and I'm not the greatest Smash Bros. player. Oh, as you can tell. Oh, as you can tell right away. Oh my god. Okay, come on. There we go. Two hits. That's all it took. And also me trying to figure out how to play this game again. <laughs> okay. Killer Eye. Throw a Killer Eye at the wall or ceiling and it'll stick there. Cool. That's fun. Fun for the whole family. <laughs> Except don't, don't, don't throw one at your family. That might not be good if you want to keep them alive. Uh, yeah, so you're going to see a lot of characters dying. Uh, mainly because Sephiroth, again, is just very powerful on his own. But also, giant and metal. Like, there's, there's no... Oh, come on. Oh, why do I suck so much at this game? Oh. Boom, you're dead. Boom, you're dead. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get good, guys. Don't worry. You know, the matches, they're, soon they're gonna be like a second long. I, I'm I'm sure that'll happen sometime. Maybe. Possibly. I'm doing this on hard mode, and I haven't done that yet, so... Uh, Alright, let's try it. Let's try it. Also, guys, uh, the other reason that Sephiroth is super OP is you can actually see the power level right there. So right now he's at 13,000. And Curb, or not Kirby, Jigglypuff is only at 3,800, so that's kind of the other reason why Sephiroth is OP. But I'd like to think it's just because he's giant and metal. Um, alright, come on. Boom! You're dead. You're almost dead. You're about to die. You're, you're literally about to die. Oh! Oh, that was good. Jigglypuff, come on. You're, you're not gonna live. Look at that. Look at that reach. You're dead. You should have just accepted it earlier. Come on. Come on. <sighs> oh, God, I've been wanting to do that for like five minutes. Don't you hate it when you have like a sniffle of some sort, but you're in a public place and then people just kind of look at you and assume you have the Rona? Oh, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. I have to be around customers all day. All day. And I sniffle or cough and they just look at me and I'm like, guys, I don't have it. Like, I'm pretty sure I don't have it. No, I'm 100% I'm sure I don't have it. Mario, just die, please. Oh, my favorite thing to do. Look at that. Look at that pose right there. The utter dominance pose. Boom. Literally just yeet it out of existence. I love it. I love it. Metal Sephiroth. Metal Giant Sephiroth. Oh. So good. Just so, so, so good. Oh, man. All right. So, what do we have next? Guardian? Oh, easy. Giant Rob. Uh, super armor, hard to launch, or make flinch stamina battle. This will be fine. This is okay. I'm sure I can do this. 
so let's see, what's new? What is new in John's life? Because I feel like a lot of this is going to end up being just second nature a little bit. Because Giant Sephiroth requires like no absolute, n absolutely no skill at all to play as. So I might as well just go off on a random tangent about something. Um, let's see, what can I go off on? What can I, what can I get off on? No, I'm just kidding. It's a weird way of phrasing it. <laughs> um, actually, to interrupt my own thoughts for a sec, uh, we're gonna figure out where to go, but I kind of already know where I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go this way to Villager. If we went up, it was gonna be Sheik. If we went this way, it's gonna be Marth, just if anyone was wondering. But now we're gonna go Villager, uh, mainly because I also, I, I've got type advantage over him. You know, I'm a fire-type Pokemon, Villager is a grass-type Pokemon, and I'm about to, I don't know, use uh, a fire move? Actually, let's try that. Let's try using Giga Flare right off the bat. Come on. Come on. You're dead. You're gonna die. Oh, you're not gonna die. Oh, that's so rude, Villager. Oh, now you're dead. Now you're dead. Good. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, so you're gonna see a lot of that. That's gonna happen quite a bit. Um, I've kind of already planned where I want to go in this a little bit. I think we're going to go this way, then we're going to go down, and then we're going to fight. We're going to do the world tour, uh, section of this game, which involves go fighting all, like, the Street Fighter. It's, it's basically Street Fighter, a little bit. Um, so that's going to be fun. That's going to be really fun. It's all stamina battles, and they're actually decently difficult, if I remember. And that was on normal mode, so I don't know... I don't know how they're going to be on hard, but then again, I am Sephiroth and Giant and Metal, and I just did that, so, I mean, maybe it won't be that bad? Probably? Tron Bon! I remember you! Tron Bon! You're from... Oh, what are you from? Mega Man Legends, which I think has another name as well. I played Mega Man Legends on the PS2, which I think was... I want to say it was like a remake? Or, like, not a remake, but, like, a, an updated port of the original one. I, I feel like I read that somewhere. I'm not 100% sure, though. Um, but I remember that game. That game was fun. I don't think it got good reviews. I, I have a feeling it didn't, because it, it wasn't the same, like, you know, Mega Man style, right? It was like, hey, let's take 2D Mega Man and turn him into 3D Mega Man right? Which, I, I don't know, I kind of liked it. Oh, come on, come on, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for dying, Roy. Um, yeah, 3D Mega Man it was an interesting concept and game. It was fun. It was really hard. If I remember correctly, it was like a really difficult game, and there was always like two points in the game I would give up on, and the first one being, what was it? Actually, I think it was, like, really close to the beginning of the game. It was... Oh, no, I remember them, no. Uh, the part where you had to... you Okay, you had to go in a submarine of some sort, and uh, you had to... Oh, gosh, what was it? Oh, you, you... It was like a classic, like, boss fight on the water, I guess, but you were in a submarine, and you had a limited amount of health. Uh, to actually, like, beat the boss or the enemies. I just don't remember what the enemies were, but it was really difficult. And I think it was really difficult because it just didn't... That was one of the points in the game that just didn't feel like Mega Man is the thing. Oh, stop it. Lucina, stop it. Come on, just die. Come over here and die, please. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was really good, Lucina. No. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on. Yes, just die. Please. Please just die. Oh. Yes! Oh, you're so dead. You're so dead. I'm so sad this doesn't take, like, 15 minutes like it normally does. Or like how it would in the game. Oh. Boom. Let's just do it again. Why not? <laughs> oh, guys, I'm not cheating in this game, by the way. If you don't know New Game Plus, you get to keep all of your uh, previous skills and stats and things like that from when you beat the game the first time. So I'm OP also in the sense that yeah, I have pretty much everything maxed out. So I could even show you the skill tree as well. Um, what was it? Yeah, skill tree. There we go. It actually is labeled skill tree. Yeah, so I've got a lot of things. I've got a ton of different stuff. I don't have everything. There's stuff I still don't have. 
Um, but for the most part, like, for instance, that thing was double final smash, which I think is... Yeah, right there, grants a second final smash after using a final smash. So, guys, I'm not cheating. Just want to throw that out there to anyone who doesn't know this game. I'm not cheating. I just, you know, I'm using really, really, really OP skills. <laughs> um, yeah, so Mega Man Legends, the part in the submarine. I don't really know how to describe it aside from you have to shoot things in a submarine. It didn't feel like Mega Man at all, and that was kind of where I lost interest. And it got really hard. It was just a really difficult, like, section too. Um, yeah, so that was part a part where I lost interest. And also, the final boss fight against Sigma, I think? Sigma's like, if I remember correctly, Sigma's a lot different in Mega Man Legends. Like, he, he kind of... He kind of reminds me of Sephiroth a little bit, but he's kind of in a floating machine, I think. I think? I'm not 100% sure, but I remember you have to do it in, like, you have to beat him up in a... Okay, hold on, this is gonna be hilarious. Hold on, this is gonna be really funny. Come on, Luigi! Oh, Luigi, come on, what are you doing? Oh, stop with the earthquake! Come on, you're dead! Okay. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Mega Man Legend Sigma was like looked like Sephiroth I guess from like the face pretty sure he had silver long hair but then he was also like part robot android thing so he was in a weird like mech suit of some sort I might be crazy I might be absolutely crazy but I just remember that last boss fight being really hard yeah there's a lot of cool skills in the game though there weren't really like bosses there was just kind of, the whole the whole thing about that Tron Bond character was she was part of like the Tron people, I guess. Like she has like an older brother who's kind of like the, the you know, Tron, I don't know, the leader of the Tron people, I guess. I, I don't know. And then there was another one, I think it was either a little kid or like a little robot thing um, that you had to, that was kind of with them, but I, I don't remember. I don't remember, I'm just trying to vaguely describe what Mega Man Legends is <laughs> at this point. Oh, okay, well, yeah. I thought it was a fun game, but very hard. Very, very, very difficult. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so let's do this. Let's kill you, you Lucina. Lucina, you're dead. Look at that. Boom. Oh, like, there is a challenge in this, in the sense that I need to concentrate just enough that I need to be able to beat them while I'm still giant and metal. Because if I don't, then I actually have to rely on skill, and that's always kind of a, it's always kind of a 50-50 kind of, eh, it's kind of, I don't know. I'm not great at Smash Bros, but I have been playing it a lot recently, so maybe I'm a little better than I was the other, the other day when I did the other uh, Sephiroth thing in Classic Mode, but I mean, how do you beat that, right? <laughs> how do you beat Giant Metal Sephiroth? Actually, that's a good question. If you guys have any ideas on how to beat Giant Metal Sephiroth, like an easy way uh, to beat Giant Metal, Se Metal Sephiroth, just let me know. Let me know, because no one's been able to beat me yet. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. I'm pretty sure when we get up to the... Watch this. Watch that. Boom. Boom. And then we'll just finish it off with a little, uh, you know, a little Giga Flare. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Yep. So, what else is new in the world of John? Not really too much. New Year's was good. Uh, where I live, pretty much everyone, you know, didn't really party or anything, which was kind of nice. It was kind of nice that people didn't really party as much, or at least, like, I don't know, I didn't hear about any parties going on, so good job, guys. That's great. But then I also heard that in downtown uh, Vancouver, I think, I don't know, I don't know this for sure, it was just something I heard, but I think there was like a, a pub or a bar or something that was like open past the curfew time and had like a hundred people in it or something because they were the only ones selling alcohol after the curfew of like 9 p.m. I think, I think they went on to like 10 and 11 and then they got shut down. Again. Total rumors. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I just feel like I heard multiple people telling me that at work the other day. So, I, I don't know, but I could see it happening. Um, yeah. Yeah, things are things are strange in the whole 
I don't know, Rona, I think that's what everyone's calling it, the Rona. Um, it's weird in the Rona life. It's very, very strange. Like, it's just, I don't know, like, I'm used to it because, A, I'm an introvert anyways, and this doesn't really affect me, but it's just weird to see, like, how other people are dealing with it, in a sense. Like, yeah, like I was saying, like, I'm an introvert for the most part. Like, I have my extroverted moments. I'm like an omnivert. I think that's, I think that is what they call it when you just omni slash your vert, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm an omnivert, but I think I'm still like a little bit more on the introverted side. Uh, it also depends who I'm with. If I'm with people that I know, then it's like, okay, 100% extrovert. But then if it's like something I don't know or, or somebody I don't know or something, then it's like, oh, I'm just going to be super introverted. I don't know, it, it's situational, but anyways, uh, this is normally what I would be doing anyways for the most part, like, I would go to work, and I'd come home, and I'd do some editing, play some video games, hang out with the girlfriend, like, do do something like that, right? Um, but it was always inside, and I'm not a exactly super social person, um, I'll hang out with friends occasionally, but it's not something where it's like, oh, I need to have social interaction every single day and go out and do stuff, and I've, I've just never been that kind of person. Um, oh my god, I'm being gangbanged by Kirby's. Come on, come on, guys, come on. You can just, all you gotta do is kill yourself. All you gotta do is kill yourself, please. You can do me all, all a favor if you just decide, hey, you know what? Sephiroth is probably gonna kill us anyways, so let's just kill ourselves, please. Come on, come on, come on, Kerbster. Come on, just die. Just die. No. No, don't do that. That's not a good thing to do at all. And now you're gonna get... You're gonna get, you know... Um, meteored? This, this is meteor, right? Brent always tells me, like, what is what. And I always forget. I think it's meteor. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a meteor crashes into the sun. And then explodes Earth. I mean... That would be crazy if that actually happened. Something so big that just exploded the sun and then we all die. That'd be really insane. Anyways, that was totally off point. <laughs> oh, wow. That was random. Um, what was I talking about before? Yeah, I'm not really in it. Or I am an introverted person for the most part. But, like, I, I can have my social tendencies and I, it's nothing that I need in life to, you know, socialize and interact with people. Because I just go home play video games and then record and edit and do stuff like that. But for people, you know, extroverts that are not like me at all, um, generally, oh, stop it, Samus, stop it. Yeah, generally they're having a harder time because they're like, no, I want to go out and do stuff and hang out with friends and, and you know, have good times with people and all that, right? Uh, oh, this is it. This is it, guys. Boom, baby. Oh, so good. And she just lightly yeets herself off the side. Oh, so good. So good. Um, yeah, it, it's weird to see people who, you know, are extroverts and can't go out and do stuff because, I don't know, it's like, for me, I guess I'm so used to it, right? So I'm like, yeah, this is fine, like, whatever. But it's, I guess it's not, it's not right to say weird, but it's interesting to see, like, the, the different side of it, right? Where it's people who really want to socially interact with people, but they can't because of, you know, social distancing or, or things like that, right? Um, yeah, right now, like, we've we've been in quarantine. Not really quarantine, but, like, we have restrictions in Vancouver. We can't, for the past, like, month, I would say three weeks, something like that, uh, you, you haven't been able to have anyone who doesn't live in your household over, unless you live by yourself, in which I think you can have, like, up to two, two or three people, like, in your circle that can come to your place and it's fine. Um, but yeah, you can't really have anyone over. Um, and you can't, you, there's nowhere to really go or do anything, right? There's not a whole lot. Oh, come on, do it again, do it again. Boom, baby! Oh, yeah! Just kick him to death. That's what Sephiroth is known for. Kicking people to death and then hitting them with the, the, the handle or the hilt, I think. Yeah, the hilt. Maybe? Of a sword? I don't know what the hilt is. Is that the handle? Is that the grabby bit? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm used to being 
introverted and, and all this, so I'm dealing with it fine. But yeah, I guess long story short, as in I keep repeating the same thing, um, yeah, it's just interesting to see like the, the contrast between me and extroverted people. Um, oh god, please don't be the one who beats me. Little Mac, Little Mac, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, come on, I can hold this all day, I can hold this all day. Look at that. Boom! Oh, I should have done that. Oh, I I waited. Oh, don't do it. Don't do naughty things to me. I'm going to block you. That's right. Oh, don't KO me. I'm going to be so mad if you KO me. I'm literally going to be so mad. Okay, come on. Come on. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, boom. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. Oh, come on. Come on, die. Nice. Nice. Little Mac, more like uh, Big Mac. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is not sponsored by McDonald's. And also, I don't know why that situation would make him Big Mac instead of Little Mac. If anything, he was just Wimpy Mac. You know, not Strong Mac. Exactly. Uh, I don't know where any of these characters are from, by the way. <laughs> I think a lot of them are from Punch-Out. But I, like, for this character, Vega, for instance... Oh, it says right there, Street Fighter series. Oh. Darn. <laughs> I just haven't been reading that the entire time. That's hilarious. I didn't even know it showed it at the top where the character was from. Oh my god. I just discovered something new. That's amazing. Uh, oh, don't even do it. Don't even do it. Don't. No. 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 Oh, what? Oh, that was dumb. Okay, come on. We can do this. We can do this. It's only Meta Knight. That was a. That was an. As, as the 2008, two, I don't know, 2000 people say, uh, that was an epic fail right there. Oh, come on, Meta Knight, you're, I don't like the size, I don't like the size of you, Meta Knight. You're really, I don't know, not big. You're Kirby size, right? So that just makes everything so much harder. Just die, just die. Just stop using your moves and just, and just die. That's all you have to do. That's literally all you have to do, Meta Knight. Oh, come on. Oh, that would have been so good. Oh, duh. stop being faster than me. <laughs> I think that's kind of where it goes down to is just stop. Stop being faster than me. And oh, come on. Oh, come on. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, come on. Oh, this is such a crappy battle. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Oh, this is really evil. Okay, come on. I, this is taking a lot of my concentration at this point. <laughs> oh, 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 this is it, 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 this is definitely it. Mm, maybe not. Oh, yes, oh, stabbed him in the butt. Perfect. Oh, that was intense. I really had to concentrate on that. Oh, I'm sorry for the silence, but oh, oh, jeez. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. So we're making pretty good progress through this. Uh, I think we're almost done the world tour. I think we've only got, like, two more fights, I think, in the world tour, and that's it. Uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, I think I think that's it. Cool. And then we do unlock a character at the end of this. Uh, since most of these characters seem to be from, you know, Street Fighter and Punch-Out and all that stuff, um, I, I believe we unlock Ryu at the end of this, uh, so that'll be fun. And Ryu, stop kicking my ass right now. Holy crap. Stop it. I'm just gonna keep... Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is... Oh, this is really bad. Oh. No, no. Oh, what are you doing? No, you're not supposed to beat me. Oh, man. Now I actually have to concentrate. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, come on. Ryu, you can die. You can die. It's fine. Look at that. See? You're fine. Oh no! Ooh! Come on! Yes! Oh, what a clutch! What a save! What a save! I don't know if that's actually gonna save me or not. Probably not at this point, but it might. Oh yeah! That was good! Yeah, that was fun. That was a good time. Oh, that wasn't though. Oh, come on! Just die, please! Please, I'll I'll even I'll even I'll even just No, I'm gonna do mine! Oh crap! Oh, he needs to stop! Duh. Okay, okay, we're fine. No, it's fine. No, I missed it. No, I didn't. Okay, that was clutch. That was good. Boom, be dead, please. Please, just eat. Oh, he's not dead yet. Oh, that's sad. Okay, we'll just have to do it again. 
Come on. You can do four damage, Meteor. Please, you can do four damage. Oh, thank you for doing four damage. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, that was definitely the hardest guy I've had to fight so far. That was actually relatively difficult. Okay. I'm back in it. That's fine. I think we just have one more. Right? It's, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. And this guy, I think, is easy because, yeah, look at that. So, I have type advantage over him, even though he's a 13-600. Like, that's decent. That's totally decent. Um, I have the type advantage, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that just means I win by default. <laughs> right? Right? I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, he, he's going to be a lot easier to beat uh, because... Oh, no. Oh, darn it. Oh, I'm talking crap about him, so he's going to be hard now. Oh, jeez. Come on, just die. Oh, look at that. Don't even waste it this time. Just straight up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And... Oh, you know what? Oh, I want to I grab you. I want to grab you. Oh, no. Come on, let me do it epic. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, so good. Take that, Ganondorf. Or M. Bison, who is from something that I don't know. Because, I, again, I didn't read <laughs> the top. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. We're doing the last one today. Uh, which is going to be Ryu. And then I think I'm going to call that an episode. It's I don't know I don't know how long it's been, but I don't think it's been that long. So I don't know if you guys want to see me continue this. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and I will keep playing this Sephiroth only run, of course, right? And Giant and Metal if I can. But I'm sure later on in the game there are going to be some uh, like hazards, right? That are going to affect the entire area that I'm going to have to switch uh, spirits for, right? Uh, but for, for the most part, I'm going to try and keep the giant and metal if I can, unless it gets way too difficult, in which I will switch that. But yeah, I'm going to see how far that goes um, if I continue this series. So again, let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue, us, continue this. And yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this episode, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, do the things you do for everyone else, but do it for us. Do it for me. Uh, Brent is coming over next week, which is kind of cool, so we're going to record, like, a ton of episodes, and it's going to be a ton of different episodes, you know, just really exploring the possibilities of the YouTube algorithm, right? So, look forward to that, but it, probably for the rest of this week, it's just going to be me. So, hope you like these solo episodes, because I like recording them, they're a lot of fun, and... You get to learn stuff about me, which is kind of cool, that I feel like you wouldn't get to learn if I was with Brent. But then again, there are things that come out when I'm with Brent that do not come out when the, I, that, that doesn't sound good. That sounds really, really weird.